Hi, uh, good evening, Debbie. Might be. I think you're muted, Debbie. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, doing well. I'm taking you co-host right now. Okay. Bishop Gonzalez, I believe. Yeah. Hi, Bishop. Hi, how are you? I'm well. I am okay, darling. Very good. Yes. We miss you at the last meeting. I know, yes. I couldn't come to the last meeting. I was so sorry. I had to let them know. I have a uh, one of my patient, one of my patient, one of my students who was okay. very sick. Okay. Yeah. Well, sometimes can't you say, say, can't say. It's just that it's COVID time. Oh my. So. God. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. Wow. It's really sad. It's really, really sad. And you hate to see the little ones go through it. Yes. It's not it's not pretty. It's not good. I can imagine. We are in some uncertain times. I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. But so Debbie, how have you been doing? I'm good. Just keeping busy as usual. <laughs> you don't know how to not be busy, Debbie. <laughs> you don't know it's how to not be busy. Get out there, you know, it's very difficult. Very, very difficult. Yeah. There's a lot of need out there, so you know. Just have to do the best you can. You see, see what is happening now. Um, Debbie, I don't know, maybe because we are in this particular area uh -huh. where we have Brookdale, we have Brookdale Hospital, uh -huh. we have, um, we have Brookdale, we have Kings County, we have um, Downstate, and then we have Kingsborough, mm -hmm. and then up on the other hand, we have um, the old St. John's Hospital of Interface. Every it seemed to me like every hour, Debbie, it's another emergency call. It's oh nothing God. but ambulances going back and forth, back and forth. Uh -huh. I said it reminded me of in March. Oh. In March, when so many people were sick and going, at least I kid you not, every hour, maybe every half an hour. Wow. It's sad. It's sad. If you're not where the hospitals are, you never, you probably don't hear it. But we are surrounded with the hospitals. It's unbelievable. Wow. It's unbelievable. I think the science, the scientists are saying something, Debbie, that are real. It's well, really real. Well, we really hope that that's the case because, you know, you're getting so much information, it's making it difficult for you to digest all that stuff, you know? It is true. Yeah. It is true. People are concerned about taking the vaccine. Yeah. People absolutely. are concerned about not having the vaccine. Mm -hmm. And then the people around you, and then you see it all the time where people say, you know, they did everything and still got sick. All right. That's crazy. So, you know, it's a tough, <laughs> it's a tough situation. It really is. You know, and uh, really is. you want to keep yourself, you know, safe. You want to keep your family safe. You want to do everything that's, you know, necessary to do so. But you really don't know what, you know, what is consistent and what is not. I know. <laughs> so, I, Debbie, I have a, I had a neighbor. Uh -huh. I have a neighbor. And um, he went down. 
It mm -hmm. was, then, then it was touch and go. Oh my God. Touch and go. Yes. Oh. I, I was, oh my God. We were endlessly work. And you know, he came home, he said, I'm not out of the woods. I don't know. Yeah, people take life for granted these days. No, you can't. I'm making, I'm making a big mistake. You can't. You really can't. It's not a big mistake. Can't take anything for granted these days. No. No, we prayed for that man every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. Wow. So is he yes. at home now or? He's, he's, he's home now, yes. Okay. He's home now. Wow. It's, it's, it's a very good friend of my son's father. Mm hmm Yeah. Wow. Sad. Mm. It's sad. And that thing looked like it just hits you, and then you don't even know what it is. But did he, he have a sense as to how he may have, you know, contracted I, I, you? I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. Because I, 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 I just figure, you know, that's kind of, if somebody wants you to know, they'll say, mm -hmm. um, you know, everybody's t speaking from a distance, so yes. you don't get to really know. Right, right. You know, and if they don't volunteer, you don't yes. ask. Yes, I ask, yeah. You know, you just think it's just inappropriate. I mean, because I was on the train today and I saw, you know, folks with, with mask i mean i mean you know they they had a one of them had a scarf wrapped around his neck so i'm a, that he pulls out up whenever he needs to over his mouth or nose and the other one was just sitting there without you know without a mask so. can you hear me i i just turned my phone off i'm sorry can you hear me debbie I was saying that they, I was, you know, yes, I can hear you. Okay, good. I just okay. turned my phone off. I'm, I'm so sorry it was ringing. Okay. Yeah, I was saying that um, I was on the train today and um, there were two young men on the train and one of, I mean, they both didn't have mask on. Wow. You no. Know, one of them had a scarf around his neck, so I'm assuming he used that as his, you know. And the other one was just sitting there, so. I wow. guess. Yeah, you know, but I guess people are probably tired of the mask and, you know. So. Then, Debbie, if you're tired of the mask, you're literally saying you're tired of life. But. but if you're out in the house. Yeah. But the other thing is I, I ran into this woman and she, you know, she told me she was a nurse and then went on to say that this virus is not a natural virus. So she was saying wow. this mask is not even, it, it's not doing anything to me. Uh, my doctor asked me, why am I wearing a mask? And I'm like, really to myself because you know you have all this other information out there and she's talking and telling me that you know who this you know about the virus and the mask that she's wearing and she's a nurse and you know i it leaves me to wonder you know what so what else you're gonna hear you know it leaves us all to wonder because yeah there's there's so much news you have to filter through everything, everything. in order to know everything. Yep, yeah everything so you filter know what the it's, it's, um you know, try to you know keep my thoughts on my maker and you know ask him to show me and you know open my eyes and my ears so that i can hear the things that i really need to hear and see and just keep it moving, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's sad. Yeah, it is. It really is. So sad. Very much.
So, um, what time is it? It's like 7.06. So I guess we'll give them around 10, 7, 10 or so. Okay. Started. So what I, Nicholas was just in the living room and now he's like on the beach somewhere. I, I'm <laughs> saying, that's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. I was looking at that. He's on the beach somewhere. <laughs> what beach are you on? Where are you in Hawaii? Nicholas, you're uh, muted. In the Caribbean. <laughs> you're in the Caribbean? I'm in the Caribbean. Oh, where? Which, which island? No, actually, what it is is, is, a, is something called a virtual bank. Oh, okay. Because I oh, see a lot of people really doing that. Yeah. Is so it if you want to have best or something, that's the right your background, and then you could pick which background you want, and that's what Okay, that's cool. <laughs> you got your little palm tree there, and your little, you know, um, right. room umbrella over there. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. <laughs> Actually, I wish I would be. <laughs> yeah, look, I was getting jealous. Yeah. <laughs> so how are you, Debbie? I'm good in there. Just uh, trying to keep my congratulations on the city wells uh sweet one again. Oh yes. yeah, but that was a very yeah. close race. It was close? Oh I thought you well, I mean if you have for, uh, twenty something thousand members and you get what the thousand five hundred votes. And oh, the other oh, the other gosh. group got the other group got like close to six. Wow. Yeah. So it's a very That's a very That's small a percentage of your membership. Correct. Yeah. The COVID is not helping anyway. That's one of the problems. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because not everybody's oh, on vacation. No. I want to step up for a minute. I'll be right back. No problem. Yes. Yeah. So, Bishop, did you get the information from... Uh, if I clock, what what information, darling? I asked uh, Kali to send out. She sent uh, some information to the community board about the small business. Um, it's a small business uh, survey. I guess no, I, I know that I'll have to find out from the office. Right, he sent it. Uh, Actually, he sent it out. Khalid? Hi, I'm here. Yeah, Khalid sent it out uh, last uh, last it? week. I want to say, let's say Friday afternoon, I sent it out, or at least oh, maybe. Yes, Friday. Maybe. Well, I probably won't get it until tomorrow because she wasn't here on Friday. So that means he probably was busy picking up all the messages today. And I will oh, to yes. Mind. Right. I remember Bishop Gonzalez. Uh, is it, I may be Trish at uh, MK Correct. Academy. Right, right. That yep. views your mouse for you. Yes. Okay. Yep. So I'll be, I'll yep. be sure to make sure to send it to her directly so she can bring it up for you tomorrow. Right. Okay. No problem. Yeah. It's a questionnaire that you, you know, you can complete and share with, you know, small businesses in the community. Okay. Within the nine district. And it's a link. You can actually give them the link so that they can fill it out and it goes directly to the Congress Congresswoman, um, I guess, uh, okay. office. To the office, okay. Right. Community liaison over there. All right. Yeah, because they sent it to me and I said, well, you know, it's something that you, you guys need to send to all the members because, you know, they live, we live in different areas, so, you know, People can reach out to the, you know, the people that's in their areas and, you know, them fill it out, you know, submit it. So uh, on, right here on Nostrand Avenue, I know her four, four members. You know, it's sad. Our, yeah. um, the barber um, that was over on this side had his own business. He was the first one to go down. He died. Which, 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 um, the barber, a barber where? Yeah, Duckett. You, you know Duckett? Yes. He was on, you know him? 
Yes, I went to get my haircuts at Duckett's Barbershop. He passed during yes. the height of the epidemic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. He died. He was the first one to go down. Oh, that, wait, that, that, that's on no, Nostrand and what? Yes, Nostrand and no. Union, Debbie, right across right. from Tony's right. Right. From where I am, yeah. That was so sad. Oh, oh my, my God. God. He used to cut my children's hair. Yes. It was so sad. So anyway, um, I know that there is the, um, it would have been Duckett. And then I know the flower shop. The, there's another oh, the lady, the yeah, the lady shop. with the flower shop, yeah. Right. right. And then we have the, um, the Bedford Stavison fish place. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, yeah, I'm going to ask them to send out to those people. And then we have a parent across the street. She has her own business. She sells um, Avon and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. She's gonna go out to get get it to her. So tomorrow, when I get it, I'll send out to some of the people that we know. Right, so they, they can so, fill it out. I guess they want to get a sense as to how you know how many businesses applied for um, the, the you know, the pool. and you know whether they you know they were successful or what you know. Okay. So you, I, you know, um, there be one of the big problem with getting that PPE money. Yes. Is a lot of our people have businesses. Yes. But they don't have the um, the resources, not money, but like the insurance that is needed. You know the um, the paperwork. Right. You know, that you that you file the tax, that you have an accountant, mm -hmm. that you have done a cert, um, you know, that thing that, that, that we have to do. Every two years, we have to do it. Um, audit. It's going to, uh, an audit, there you go. Oh, you, the audit, right. To do the audit. And a lot of that, you know, is contingent upon whether or not you are qualified to get that money. It's, it's well, that's crazy. It. But it's true. Yeah, and it's I think that's how that's how the big businesses got over with the the you know the the first part of PP because they have their people that do these things for them, so they you know they jump on it and they get right on it. Whereas exactly. the small businesses they don't have access to these things and you know trying to get the information to them you know with um the biz I mean the agencies that's available you know it's difficult because you know i don't think i don't know if the board has an updated um listing of you know the businesses in the community i mean years ago i i i um the person that was uh the district manager of the board i reached out to her one when we were having a block party and you know ask her for a list of you know the merchants association and I never got it, so I don't know what happened after that, but oh. I, I mentioned several times that, you know, we definitely need to, you know, get a listing of all the businesses, so at least we have that information. I'm sure probably can get... Maybe that's, maybe that, maybe that's a project that this committee can do, so we'll do a canvas and get this as many businesses as we can. Right. That was a part of the, um, of the, when we discussed the, you know, the compiling information, you know, um, I mean, I did something, I had something done and Khalid, you guys, you should have that, um, from, uh, what's that group, um, with all the businesses and the churches and the schools. Oh, um, department of city planning information. Are you talking about so, the yes. of, like schools, no, they, facilities? No, but the 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 the, the information uh, I sent you guys is from um, Beta NYC with the churches, the schools, and the businesses. We were supposed to follow up on that. Yes. Yeah. Right. I remember you have you have forwarded us the um an Excel sheet, but also yes, a, like a Department of City Planning keeps up a. The um, organized list of the facilities in our district. 
Uh, unless you mean uh, contact information and such, that would be more, um, you know, a more specific search. Well, I think that if we if we, we if we get the information, we can always get some an internal body to do that research. You know, in terms of giving them thing and 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 having them, you know, uh, input all the necessary information on the spreadsheet. So I think that would be a good project for a high school student or even a college student. Or even beta oh, NYC. Sorry. I mean, we can, you know, reach out to them and ask them how they can assist with the listing that we get from city planning to see if it if it varies from the one that they did for us. Because right. the one they did for us had the addresses and the phone numbers. So I don't understand why, you know, we still, you know, having that conversation, but that's something that we need to, you know, get up and have right. ready in the event that, you know, we need it for whatever reason. Yeah. So you, you, it's seven, it's seven eighteen. I've said that we would start at seven ten. So, you know, we're gonna start. And so we start at seven fifteen. I don't think that we're gonna I'm gonna hold you up waiting for anyone else to join us. So I will say that we started at 7.15 p.m. All right. All right, so I wanna welcome everyone. I am hoping that everyone received the uh, agenda for tonight. And um, So on the agenda, we uh, call the meeting to order at 7.15. And of course, we are going to have a word from Hamilton. I'm saying Hamilton Gonzalez. No. Hamilton Gonzalez, as we always do, a word of encouragement. So I'm going to give it over to you to do so right now. Okay. Uh, beyond the shadow of a doubt, we have stretched our hands forward to a greater than ourselves. Not because we are weak, but because when we hold on to the greater power of the universe, it strengthens us. We become stronger. We reach out because in these troublesome times, our hearts are sometimes overwhelmed with grief. And sometimes we just feel really downtrodden because we feel as if there is nothing that we can do. But beyond the shadow of a doubt, holding on to the Almighty's hand, holding on to a greater power than ourselves, ensures us that even though we might feel downtrodden, that the greater power is in charge, whether we call it God, whether we call it Allah, whether we call him Buddha, it doesn't matter. Something greater has to be the central focus of our lives as we walk forth in faith, hoping, that we can make a difference in the lives of those that are suffering among us. We just ask eternal God that you strengthen us. Give us the fortitude. Give us the audacity to walk and to step in places that only you can guide our feet. And then help us eternal God to use our hands to help those that are in need. By not by might, not by power, but by your grace, O oh God. Let us reach those that need us, that need to get some advice on what they can do to make their small business better, to make their home life better, to make their mental wellness a better place in their lives. Bless Deb. Bless. 
Debbie, oh my God, for all that she does. Uh, just the energy that she brings every month gives me strength to know that someone cares somewhere beyond the shadow of all the misery that we see that encompasses around us. So I want to lift her up tonight again, oh God, and ask that you will continue to give her the inner fortitude and the will to always care for those and seek to help those who cannot help themselves. Remember our community board nine. Remember all members, all the members that are in authority. We just ask, oh God, that you bless us. For if there's ever a time we need you, oh God, it is now. So let the power of God Almighty continue to rain down upon us as we continue to reach out and touch lives and change lives in this pandemic season of such death and sorrow. And to you be the glory, eternal God. And to you be the glory, eternal God. And to you be the glory, eternal God. Amen. Amen. And thank you for that word. That was very touching. Thank you so much. God bless. So Diane and Maurice, uh, I see you guys are muted. I guess you can unmute yourself. I mean, you know, I like everybody to have an opportunity to reach. Um, hi, Debbie. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Hi, Maurice. Hi, hi Miss Debbie. How you doing? How you been? Good you. Good to see you. It's been a while. Good to see you too. Good to see everyone. So, um, we, you know, next on the agenda, we have a welcome and introdu introductions. Uh, my name is Debbie Timothy, and I am the um, chair of the Economic Development Committee of CB9. So, uh, become um, acclimated with each other. <laughs> and you can go ahead. Sure. I'm, I'm Diane John Marie. I'm a community member who joined this Economic Development Committee. I live here in Crown Heights, and I'm a consultant with arts and culture nonprofits around the country. So that's my my work by day. Um, by night, I am very active in the community. I tell stories about this community as a filmmaker. And I am a runner. So I've I, it's been my mission to run every street in our district. <laughs> um, and it's it's been great to get to see how the neighborhood has started to come back to life a little bit. Yeah. What's his name is calling? Maurice? Yes. We are doing introductions. Oh, hi. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Maurice Cummings. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm special assistant to council member Alika Anthony Samuel. I too live in Crown Heights. Um, recently came back to government from consulting, from originally being in government, uh, working in the state legislature, and now I'm going to do it in the city. My name is Nicholas uh, Almonor. I just joined the board not a while ago. Very much interested in the board. We can barely hear you. Oh, let me speak out louder. Is this better? Hello? Is this better? That's yes. better, Almonor. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, uh, so I just joined the board not too long ago. I'm tr I'm learning. So I'm here. So uh -huh. I'm as many committee meeting as I can so I can learn. I'm assigned to the uh, Park Recreation Committee. But also I'm very much interested in this neighborhood because I live here. And actually I wanted to attend this meeting because my barber said you apply for the PPP, he has not been able to get it. And I think this is something we should start to look into. So I gave him all the information that we sent, but he said to me so far nothing has happened. And I think the point that I was making earlier, a lot of these businesses doesn't have, they don't keep books. So they, yeah. can't do it, but they may not keep, they would have the requirement to qualify. A lot of people don't realize that. Mm -hmm. 
Bishop, are you there? Yes, yeah. I'm right here. Okay, so uh, you can introduce yourself. I know you just gave us a word, but. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm just Bishop Gonzalez. You know that I usually just say I'm Bishop <laughs> Gonzalez and a member of the board. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Wayne? Hi, Wayne. How are you? Well. Um, hi, I'm Wayne King. I've been living in this neighborhood for a long, long, long time. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Okay. Um, I'm retired at this point, and I wanted to get on the board just to see how I could help and be of assistance. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, there's a number there, 7187, and it ends in 20. I don't know who that is, but we're doing introductions. Um, we would like to know who you are. Khalid? Oh, they got off? I'm here, Debbie. I've, requ I've requested that they unmute themselves. I don't know. Oh. I don't I don't see them anymore. I don't see them in the participants list. Right. Maybe they... Oh, man. Okay. Well, if they come back, then we'll, we'll admit them. Maybe they made a mistake and um, they're trying to unmute themselves or some such. Okay. Okay, so... So we're going to move on to new business. And um, I don't know if anyone else has any ideas. Um, I was thinking, you know, that, uh, you know, CB can, you know, um, pre we can create some um, shop local signs for all local businesses. I mean, I've seen them in other areas, and I think it would be good to have them in our own community. So I thought I'd bring that up to the um, committee to see what you guys, you know, think about it. And then we can make a request to have them done and you know, distribute them throughout the community. I like that idea. That sounds good. That'll work. Okay. Anyone else with any comments about that? I just yeah. think since we are we are not able to do much at this time, um, you know, just to have something, you know, I guess in their windows, you know, you know, at this time of the year. Um, yeah. I think it it's a great idea. So many people are trying to figure out how to support local businesses right now, especially for the holidays. So, right. and if we can find a way to tie it to any neighborhood holiday gift guides, a couple of the small businesses start to create their, their gift guides. Maybe they can advocate like everyone shop to outside of the stickers on the doors. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. I don't know what the parameters are with regard to social media, but if the board could probably uh, maybe acquire the social media handles and do some blasting, assisting, or ask board members or community members to encourage to go to the local media pages and check them out or stop into the local shops or even maybe pick up flyers and disseminate a lot of their routes to work or trains and stuff like that. I mean, community involvement, that's a way to get people involved and to get the word out quickly. Just mm -hmm. a question. Okay. You know, um, um, Debbie, I, I, I think um, the vote of our colleagues are bringing up great points, but I think the controversial problem mm -hmm. that we are facing or the challenges that we are facing is they're asking us to stay home. I know. You know they're, yeah, they're that's what I just, yeah. an And um, they're asking people to stay home. Um, I, I just have another member of our community that just died. He he was sick. Yeah, he was my plumber. Got sick, went to the hospital. While he was there, he got COVID. And within a week, he was dead. So oh, it, it's good. It, it's very good ideas. I think that's brilliant. Uh, I, I think the time right now to go out like that, especially with the upsurge, yes. is a challenge for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So if there's something we can do on social media that we can reach out, 
you know, to let people know that we can go out, you know, tell them they can go to shop. I don't even want you to have more than five people in the store when you go. Right. You have to do this. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of a tricky time right now for us, for I people in general. So if like, I don't know how many people on here have social media, Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever, totally understand the, the current um, health situation with folks and the dangers of going outside, the potential of catching COVID and unequivocally want everybody to be safe. So I don't know, Deb, maybe you could like, you know, we could feature, feature particular businesses, everybody do a blast. Uh, this business on Monday, a blast of this business on Tuesday, or blast a couple of businesses, you know, per day. I think that's a way to still, like, maybe, you know, the word up, enthusiasm up, and somebody should go on mute because a lot of feedback. Um, yeah, maybe feature a couple of businesses or something like that and maybe try to highlight them and blast them out, as, uh, get as many board members or you know, community people to blast out, hey, you know, V's on Nostrin or whatever the, whatever you have, you know what I'm saying? But definitely uh, safety is paramount. So social media right now and anything digital probably is the best way to go to keep people safe and still be able to be effective. Can't hear you, Deb. I think that's a great idea. Debbie, Debbie, you'll have to unmute your is given feed to make sure you're muted and unmuted, okay? Can you hear me? Unmute yourself, Debbie. There you go. So what I was saying was uh, a few meetings, uh, maybe like two or three meetings, we were talking about you know, compiling information for small businesses and using the uh, community board uh, social media to get the information out. Sent you any information because it was a, the plan. Khalid? I did in here, so are gonna please? No, the, the, did you receive any information from anyone with regards to using the um, CB9 um, social media for um, small business um, postings? Uh, we've done that before in the past uh, for a shop local, I believe maybe that was 2018, um, where we posted on the CB9 Facebook uh, you know, X, X business on, you know, this corridor is promoting maybe this, you know, benefit or sale or such and make, yeah, posting of it on a weekly basis. Uh, also, I just want to make note that in the same email that I sent on the Friday, uh, assembly member Richardson, she had created a shopping guide of at least district 40 assembly district 43, which covers most of our community district. That's also just a good reference point. I just wanted to. Um, add that. What is it? A listing of what? It is a shopping guide for businesses in Assembly District 43, which okay. covers this. a portion of Community District 9. Okay. Yeah, so I just want to, I sent that in the same email that you requested last for last Friday, Debbie. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so I mean, we can just, you know, I guess if anyone has any information, we can just send it over to you directly. And then you can just um, make a upload on our Facebook and our Twitter. Yes, yes, I can. And images, if possible, that would all that you know. That's always great for um, you know boosting and traffic. Okay. So, okay. you know, any okay. anything of that. But language, language is fine too. Simple language is also fine. It's just better with um, or or a link or something like that. Okay, so that's fine. And I haven't heard from Greg. He hasn't been to any of the meetings. Have you heard from him? Because I know he has the website that he uses to uh, um he I know that he did call the office and I believe he spoke to Mia. Uh but I yes. couldn't tell you what the details of the I know that he he was expressing his regret for not being able to attend the previous EDC meeting when he made that call. Um, okay. But in terms of further details of that phone call, I couldn't tell you. I'm sorry. 
Khaled, can you hear me? Oh, is this Ben? Yeah, I'm on the, I'm oh. on the call. Sorry, I got cut oh, off. Oh, you're sorry. Yeah, <laughs> okay. like I'm right here, bro. Okay, okay all right. So I I'll rename you. Okay, okay perfect. Yes, I am right here, but I didn't know how to like, I, pre I, I muted myself, but I guess you got to press star six, but, and my phone is about to die again, but yes, I heard you. I'm going to try to call back. Okay, perfect, perfect. <laughs> yes, I did hear you guys, but uh, I got like 1% and hello to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the clock. Yes, I'm right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, it's nice for you to join us. Thank you for that. And yeah, I. Man, all right. Okay. Oh, but you can mean something if I've. Are you? Okay, go ahead, Debbie. Go ahead. So yeah, so I was, as I was saying, Greg, um, we were just uh, talking about you know, getting in, if we can get as much information out uh, to small businesses, local businesses in the community, um, you know, even if it's saying, you know, to shop local or whatever the information may be. And I mentioned that, you know, you have a website that you normally uh, would put information on and it's very good information. So I don't know, I haven't, I mean, spoken to you because you haven't been at couple of our meetings so i don't know what you've been up to but uh it would be helpful to get a sense as to what you know you've been up to and how you can assist with that i think greg is muted and his phone might have died Right, his phone. He did say he was on one percent. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, I got one percent. I'm right here. I'm still driving Oops. on this. But um, yeah, actually, I've been getting into some um digital development with phone numbers and stuff like that. But and and the site is BK Bridges. I'm just trying to go quick, and my phone might die. Okay. BK Bridges. Yeah. Go ahead. Say what you're saying, Debbie. BK. No, go ahead. I'm I'm writing. Yeah, it's BKLYN Bridges. Dot com. If you have something, you, you can send it to me at info at bklynbridges.com. It's my not for profit. Um, actually, it's for the community and stuff like that. I post a lot of um, information on there. The last thing I posted on there was the COVID update because that's what's been really going on. And it's like a big brochure. I put it together. Um, also, any other information you might have, you could just send it. Even if Khaled has it, he usually sends some stuff out and I try to get it on there as soon as possible. But I've been working on some other, so I haven't updated it in a while. Right. But I will be, I will be doing that. Just okay. To, the other thing is maybe you can do some type of a shop local uh, design and, you know, just post it on there. Okay. Um, what do you want to post it on? You have, you want to, um, you just wanted to post on the, on the, on the site or you want it for the um, community board, Facebook and uh, media and stuff like that. If we can get it all, I mean, around, you know, just that, you know. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right, so do you have, like, a theme for the shop logo, or it's just the same? Or do you have a concept, any any phrasing, or you that done as well, or it's just shop logo? Pretty much, you know, basic, um, you know, elaborate. All right, so I guess I will speak to Khalid or Mia and, or Mia and um, collaborate on getting some images and stuff or whatever is necessary right. and uh I, all right cool Put the image together how quick do you need it so well if we can get it you know as soon as possible because you know the holidays are coming up and you know we want people to you know, okay cool to nice right. to go in out and i mean it's not much this is that they go to, you know, so we want them to know that, you know, the local businesses need their help and they should patronize in the community and not spend everything at um, Target and BJ's and Costco's. Big okay. Now, okay. now, Debbie. So, I'm here. Yeah. Debbie, I'd like to make a suggestion Absolutely. that um, 
you know when you say shop local yes um yes um a year ago it would have been ideal mm -hmm. but people don't have money to shop right now unless it's food because things are so bad but if we say support local there's, okay. there's a lot of things that can happen you know okay someone could go in and um probably offer something because there's the, the, the you know the merchants are suffering so more like support more you know what i'm saying yes yes so maybe we can just change that to say support support, support yeah. yeah so you want to rather you wanna than say, shop the support so you want to say shop local support local because i mean shop local is the theme of the um usually the brand i don't know if you got any sponsorship so if you don't then i guess it doesn't matter but if you do I'm sure they want to keep that. So you want to say shop local, support local? Yeah. Because we have things work. we've done from the past. Huh? That works? Okay, cool. That would work, yes. All right, cool. Shop local, support local. Okay, cool. So going along with that, uh, um, I guess I'll talk to Khalid and Mia, like I said, and Debbie as oh. well. And anybody else, if you have any suggestions, just please send it to Khalid, just like um, with the support. Um, just send it, and I'll try to incorporate it, anything you like, anything. It doesn't matter. As, a, as I speak to Khalid and um, I'll get it in. But just remember, it's just like going to be a few words in, a, in an image, right? So. Yes. Um, so that's pretty much it. All right. So I'll, I'll be speaking to Khalid in, uh, in a couple of days or a day or two. So then we'll get it together and see, what's, see what's what, we, what we can work out. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Again. And on the agenda, um, for those of you that don't have it, um, I also thought about um, building our partnership with, um, because I know that in order for you to really, you know, um, do anything in the community, you have to have a partnership. So I was hoping that, you know, we can you know, at some point, you know, reach out. Asian grass, grassroots. Um, and just partner because I mean, it's going to take a partnership in order to move this whole thing forward once we're back up and running again. So, you know, I was hoping that we can um, try to, you know, put some emphasis on you know doing so now i mean there's not much that we can do right now but you know as we move forward you know uh beyond this whole COVID thing you know hopefully we can just up and running at that point um in terms of um you know doing things in the community um more than likely it's going to be playing catch up at that point because it's going to be so many things and so many needs. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to, um, we'll be ready to do so. So I don't know if anyone else have any ideas on that, but um, I know of maybe like two meetings ago, you know, people had, you know, information about businesses that they know and they were going to reach out um, but some of those people, I don't think that they're here. I don't know if anyone else has any information that they would like to share. But that would be, that's, you know, an idea that I just, you know, came up with. So the floor is open for anyone who may want to give some input. Um, Debbie, remember what um, Nick, Nick said earlier? about the fact that a lot of small businesses um, did not qualify for the PPE right. because they were missing, you know, certain structure in their businesses that didn't qualify them for, for it. And, and I was thinking, as you were saying, partnership, you know, yes. Medgar Evers has a, um, a legal department, I think, they do something legally there because I know they do immigration. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can find out if 
if they can have a, a if we can do a um a zoom where we can have small businesses even if it's 10 or 12 people who weren't able to get it to now join in partnership with Medgar Evers legal side and see if we can help them to get those insurance those taxes all those paperwork together you know so they don't have to continue going down this road not being qualified Okay, well, I think that the information that I asked sent to the members from um, Congress member Clark, it had okay. to do with um, people wanting, asking people, the businesses, whether they want to participate in a virtual um, event pertaining to that. So, okay. Yeah, that's one of the questions on her survey. So that would be the partnership that we could definitely um, be a part of. I had a, another, a similar thought, just piggybacking off of that one. That's been on my mind for a while. So many of us are, come from the world of strategy and consulting and whether we've worked with businesses or government. I think it would be really cool if we're able to hear some sort of sponsorship for small business compensation coming out of the pandemic, because so many of these businesses can't afford those services, but they need to, they need people to really help them with their business model to try to show, the, show them to collaboratively work with them collaboratively, on how to be able to grow their customer base, how to set the right pricing. So I think it would be really cool if we're able to get corporate or industry or educational sponsorship to be able to do something like that. I also know Medgar Evers has a student consulting group. And if we're not able to get a corporate sponsorship for small businesses, we would probably be able to get essentially free, free student services for the consulting group and use it as a yeah, Medgar Evers college type of project with a bunch of small businesses. So just an, an idea for the future as we're getting out of COVID, hopefully in 2021. <laughs> That's a good idea. Um, and also I was about to say that um, our presenter at our last meeting from um, the New York City Department of Small Business Services, um, he provided us with um, a lot of information in terms of assistance for small businesses. And I believe, uh, Khalid, I had Khalid send out the information to everyone um, with his information and the uh, links that people can share with, um, you know, local businesses. So we also have that. We also have um, what's that other organization that um, I actually reached out to her. Uh, I can't remember what it is right now but um so that she can present to us uh dale evans from um do you mean dale charles from impact brooklyn Zebby? from uh what's the name of that group Im impact impact brooklyn, right yes i think of a lot of she uh dale has a lot of um information that she can share with us as well in terms of the work that they do, but I, I haven't heard back. Khalid, did you guys, you the guys didn't hear from her? Uh, not at this time, Debbie, no. We haven't heard back from her yet. So maybe um, we can call cool to make sure that she's okay. Sure, we can uh, play. We can play. Uh, because I emailed her anything back. So. Okay, okay. That's a good um. So we'll make that. So. Debbie, do we have a, a list of all the businesses in our district? Um, Khalid, Khalid, you said that um, we can get that from city planning. Can you please repeat that. You said that we can get a listing of all the businesses in, in this district from city planning. Uh, we can get a listing of facilities such as schools or uh, uh, other uh, like senior citizen centers and so forth. In terms of businesses, no, we can maybe, like I said, Miss Richard, Assembly Member Richardson created the guide, which 
lists most of the businesses here in our district. It, it pretty much has done 80 to 90% of the work. Um, aside from that, we can acquire further information from, say, for example, the Flatbush Avenue bids. They definitely have a list of businesses along their corridor. Uh, Nelson Avenue Merchants Association. I have to check on a contact for that, but they should also have a list of no street avenue businesses along the corridor right. uh, so these these organizations would definitely have a list compiled of uh, businesses in their in their area but another thing that i was recommending i don't know if the ec committee would want to con uh, contemplate this identifying um the major corridors in our in our district and seeing if there are merchants or business associations and you know, um, making sure their contacts are up to date or if they have lists and so forth. As far as I'm aware, I, I, I don't know of a Utica Avenue um, business uh, bid or, or merchants association. So uh, that's just something I wanted to posit. Mm -hmm. Is there a bid over there? Maybe. As far as I know, Debbie, I don't know. I, I haven't heard from a Utica Avenue. There hasn't been any that's reached out to our office. I'm only aware of Nostrand Avenue Merchants Association flat, uh, and the Flatbush Avenue bids. Uh, I don't know of a Kingston Avenue. I don't know of a Rogers Avenue. Uh, so, you know, we have we have major corridors that I, I don't I can't say that there are bids for or Merchants Avenue associations for. Well, it would be good to know where uh, Diana, you know, got her information from to, you know, compile at this. We can definitely ask. I I would have assumed uh, she traveled across the district and just got um, the information, but we can definitely ask and see if maybe they have any other contacts that they can share with us. Um, right. I do know. I will say that when uh, and and Nia may have uh, have gone into this more in depth, but our office is subject to. A, a recent law in terms of um, information. Uh, it's a, uh, I believe it's called identifying information. Uh, there are certain, there are certain things that we're not allowed to distribute uh, anymore because of the idea that this contact information could lead to identifying it in a person or individual or organization. So I did want to just let you know about that. That when it comes to even if we compile this information, uh, depending on how we maintain it and share it, we're under there are certain laws, uh, laws and rules that we have to follow as an office. So that information came from where? No. So what what, I, what I'm saying to you is that the information that Diana Richardson compiled, we can ask them how they've done that. What I'm saying to you is that because uh, they're a city agency, when we compile and maintain information, we have to be careful with how we distribute it because there are identifying information uh, policies that we have to follow. Uh, I just only wanted to make that clear with you. Okay. Okay. Wow. I'm not sure whether, you know, if it's a business in the community, whether that would, you know, uh, be a problem, you know. Right, so right. I think we need more clarification in terms of what that really means. Yes, yes, right. And I, yeah, I wanted to bring that up with you, yes. Okay, so thank you for the information anyway. Uh, is there anyone else with any information or questions? Uh, Debbie, uh, yes. do you um, do you know that um, a lot of people are are consultants, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people out there they don't have an office per se, right? But they're okay. consultants like physiotherapists and and psychotherapists, and that's true. Plumbers mm -hmm. and you know construction workers, right? You know, that they they work for themselves, right? And uh, I don't know that that fits under the small businesses in, in, in that respect. And, and it's mostly women, mostly are women that are not able to get anything because, you know, their thing was to go out and, and privately, you know, take care of um, children at home 
you know, they have their own little private daycare business. And I, I'm not sure that fits under um, what we call um, the small business because they are also um, suffering, you know, because business went, went bad. Right. Business went <laughs> bad. Well, I mean, it would be. I'm know, just saying then to include, to include, um, you know, the consultants in mm -hmm. in our um, community, and it's mostly women, you know, that right. have their own little business, and it helps them to raise the family and still, you know, do something uh, within community economically to help them with their families. Well, I'm sure that will be considered as a small business. That's if they have documents for small okay, right. business. If they have the proper documentation. Yeah, exactly. And that's what that's what I'm saying. You know, they might not have that kind of, you know, elaborate documentation that they need, as a matter of fact. Well, I, I mean, know, it's um, good to know, and then we can raise a question with Department of Small Business Services to find out, you know, how they can, you know, assist. Well, that would be wonderful, Debbie. That's something I think we should do. Yeah, because we can reach out to um, the Mr. Parker and, um, you know, fine, because he did say that we can do so um, with the questions that we have, you know. So that would be good if we can find out more and, you know, see if we can, you know, get in contact with him and ask him those questions. Correct. Debbie, this is Maurice. Um, have Has the community board uh, hosted or facilitated a meeting with the small businesses during the pandemic to see how consultants included, to see how they have been coping with um, and um, I guess adjusting on the fly uh, to business during a pandemic. Um, as a as a consultant, I know earlier this year, when, when I was actually working um, for Michael Blake earlier this year. Mm -hmm. We had to transition and get creative and think of new ways how to campaign, how to reach voters, and how to do all sorts of things uh, without knocking on doors, without uh, doing train stops and stuff like that. So my question is, have the small businesses or has the community brought something together for small businesses to come together collectively and exchange ideas as to how they are continuing to uh, operate in their business and maybe exchange ideas amongst one another? Some of those ideas could be helpful. You know, they cross different lines for different businesses, foods, I mean, you know, food service, food services mm -hmm. have taken a hit. Hospitality has taken a really big hit. Yes. Um, you know, um, I think it would be a good idea to maybe have, facilitate something where they can extend ideas to see how one business is doing per se or, um, against the other, not against, but, you know, how one is doing and maybe share some ideas how they could collectively keep their doors open and keep mouths fed. No, we haven't done anything like that. I mean, it, uh, during this, the COVID uh, pandemic as yet. Um, but I believe that Senator Myrie may have done something. I'm not 100% sure, but I want to believe that they did something. Um, I'm not sure how many businesses they reached out to because, I mean, during this difficult time, as you know, we were just talking, you know, we really don't have all the information about businesses in the community. And that's something that we need to focus on so that we can get the information to them, you know, as needed. And um, it's an important part of, you know, doing this type of work i mean if you don't have the information readily available you need it i mean it makes it difficult and i've been you know talking about this for a while now and so hopefully you know we can you know work on something um i'm gonna reach out to khalid again um to see whether we can uh get to some of the uh, merchant associations and see 
how much information we compile and, you know, see what's still open and what's not open. Because it's important to know, I mean, I, I just this stretch on Nostrum alone, I mean, you see a lot of um, businesses just fold it up. Uh, so I don't know. Um, how. Yeah, the, the information, the information is important. I think even just yeah. as, important as the information is the dissemination of the information and ensuring that everybody who needs the information actually receives um, the information, um, you know, it, it hurts my heart to walk along no string. I mean, anywhere between Empire and Fulton yes. and, see so many, and see so many gates down Yeah, places that I actually used to walk into and not always, you know, you know, to buy something. Hey, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. What's going on? You know what I mean? Just that camaraderie. Right. You know? So, you know, I'm going to actually try to work with you know, um, Khalid and, and, and me again on, you know, getting a list together because I think I mentioned it before for, you know, even if it's an intern, we can, you know, have them compile the information for us, you know, and um, try to get something solid so that we can have that available. I mean, it's important, you know, to have these things. I'm very big on list and updating information. So, um, that's something that I, I, I bring up all the time, but, you know, given the current circumstances with the COVID, I mean, it makes it difficult to even get to the community board office because they are not there um, most of the time. So it's, you know, it's just a difficult situation all, all around and hopefully we can get through this and, you know, um, things will be better and We'll be able to do more and you know get more done uh so i mean that's something that i'm gonna have to work on with um with the office in terms of getting this list together because it's very important i get annoyed when i'm asking for a list and i can't get one so that's something that i'm big on uh, i don't know if anyone else has any information or input that they want to Provide. I wanted to say something regarding the Department of Consumer Affairs. Don't they keep a list of the businesses in the city? Uh, I didn't hear your question. Because if they're going to receive complaints about a bill, it's okay. right. I'm saying if the uh, Department of Consumer Affairs will receive uh, questions or complaints about a business, most likely mm -hmm. they may have a list of businesses. That may be one area we could look into to see if they have some kind of a list. Yeah, okay. Even the Better Business Bureau, maybe we can you know, reach out and see. But, you know, as Khalid said, he's going to reach out to um, the Diana Richardson's office, how they, you know, the information that they received, um, how they, they compile it, and how much of it we may be able to use and add. So, we can, but then Khalid, maybe you need to check on that list that we have from we got from Beta NYC, and see how much information you know we can retrieve from that as well, because that was a lot of information. Most definitely. Yeah. I'll, I'll take a look at it again. I know I don't. I don't think I have it on this laptop. But compile one main list, a master list. That would be good. So we can um we can work on that. Does anyone else have any other questions or input? Okay, I take that as a no. So we're gonna go on to uh, old business. Um, we had uh, Mr. Parker from New York City Small Business Services present to us at our last meeting, um, as I mentioned, uh, we were, there were a few of us at the meeting um, last month. Uh, so he provided us with a lot of information, as I mentioned before, and I asked Ali to send the information out to, so, to people. So everyone should have received that information and hopefully you can, you know, share it with your local businesses in your community. Um, 
I'm sure that some of them will be able to utilize the information in there because there's a lot of information that's even on their website that is accessible to everyone. Uh, we also came, uh, decided that we will come up with a, com a list of businesses as we just talked about. So we are still talking about that. And as I said, I'm going to be reaching out with the lead and trying to work with him, trying to compile the information from the information that I sent him from Beta NYC, the information from Diana. We can also reach out to the bits and the uh, merchant association and see what they have and what we what's open, what's closed. So we can have them an updated listing in, you know, the event that we need to use it for any reason. I know the schools and the churches should be fine. The listing for that to lead, that should be up to date. Uh, but the businesses, I think that we may have to, you know, work on that one. So we'll see where that is and then we can pick up the pieces. Yeah, and um, we also, the committee, we also uh, spoke about um, a reusable bag project for CB9. Uh, we were talking about creating a bag, um, reusable shopping bag, and we were thinking about, you know, rolling it out by reaching out to Grow NYC to see how we can combine rolling out the bag, maybe like a food uh, I don't know if it would be a weekly thing or, you know, um, just to roll bags out or maybe a senior. We we're still trying to figure out how we're going to do that. But I think I think it's a great idea. People will always need food, um, even if you pay maybe maybe fifteen dollars for weekly. Um, you can reuse the bag and you know. So we are still, you know, trying to figure that out. And um, I, if Greg is still on, he was supposed to come up with a logo for the bag. I know that bag will usually have, I don't know if you've heard of that company before, but a lot of people, they use bag to create bags, um, shopping bags. They come in different colors and different sizes. So that's something that we can probably look at, uh, you know, to continue our discussion on this um, reusable bag, CB9 project. And um, that's all I have. I don't know if anyone else have any input or information that they would like to share. I am going to allow you to do so now. Anyone? Everyone is muted. Bishop, you're there. Diane, you're there. Yeah, I'm here. And, um, I'm here. There was a, another community member who joined a couple um, meetings ago, and yeah. she and I were reaching out to Black in Brooklyn to try to get uh, local business spotlights there. So we're, we're building that relationship. They're interested in hearing more about some of our engineers. So we told them we'll keep them up to date as we plan as a committee so that they're plugged into that. But one thing we tried to do to prep for that is to create a Google Maps version of CB9 that as we learn about businesses, we can update that Google Maps document with the local businesses that we're building relationships with. It's really hard to do that just on the internet, like without actually getting to know the businesses themselves. Because right. it's hard to search. It's hard to search for for those businesses, especially when they're smaller. So perhaps that's a resource that we can share and we all can add to as we get to know what businesses exist in our district. Yeah, and also we can reach out Beta NYC. They do a lot of that type of um, mm -hmm. stuff. So we can reach out to them in terms of you know, getting a map of all those. Kali has... Um, he has that information that I sent him, so hopefully, you know, he can get his hands on it and pull it up. I should be able to, yes. Yeah, so. Okay. To the community as well. Yeah, so I can work with you on um, compiling a list on trying to get something together. 
Any additional information? Any other business? Nope, I take that as a no. So I am going to make a motion to adjourn the meeting. And I hope I hope that everyone had a great Thanksgiving. And I hope that, you know, you will have a great Christmas well, I had a, season. I had a, a very quiet Thanksgiving. Only my husband and I had dinner. Oh, I think most people... Yeah, we decided we usually have 40 people. Oh, my and God. Two. Yeah, we did not. We did not. No. It, it was a weird, it was a weird feeling, Debbie. I know. Because, you know, you bring the family, yeah. all the in-laws, you know, students, everybody comes together. And then it was just empty with just the both of us. But we were <laughs> grateful. We were grateful to be alive. But it was funny. I, I was looking at, a, um, I believe it was CNN and, and um, Cardi B had this household of people and she was putting all the information out there. And when they called her out on it, she was like, well, I didn't, I didn't think that I was, you know, getting on anybody's, you know, bad side. And I'm like, but you know what's going on. You know, what would you, she said, well, everybody got tested. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Uh, doesn't matter yeah but they were jumping around having fun and I'm like okay then the CDC say people shouldn't be doing this and whatnot but I guess some people think that they can get away with it but hopefully you know they had a good time and everybody's fine but you know we have to um better at you know everybody doing the same thing and that some people doing one thing and others doing you know something else so i want to wish everybody a merry christmas i know that we probably will see you know again at the general meeting but um for those that i don't get to see you know at the meeting or plan have plans to do other things you know i want to wish you a merry healthy holiday season thank you for joining us tonight maurice i'm sure that i'll be seeing you around yeah good to see you man you know we got to from harlem from harlem to bk we just harlem to bk yeah harlem nice to, to see you but we'll be definitely talking and seeing each other. Absolutely. I'm happy to be in Brooklyn and, you know, I've done, all, I did all of it. I traveled yeah. the country and did some international stuff, but I'm happy to be home and bring my talents to Brooklyn. Very good. I'm glad to hear. Thank you. It's a pleasure meeting everyone. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Yes. Thank you. Meeting you too. Thank you, Debbie. Yes. Okay, thank you. Good yeah. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. 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 Stay safe. 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 Stay saf